I think it'll be watched very closely, actually. It's obviously a quite unique way to do it. You don't typically hear about IPOs, uh, you know, going where the company is not issuing uh, new stock. For existing shareholders, though, as we are, uh, we think it's a great idea because we don't face any dilution in the IPO at all. Um, <clears throat> I think Spotify is a pretty interesting company, though, for a couple reasons. In order to do this, you need not only to have a very strong business model, one, you need two, to not have to raise new capital. And three, you need to have a very simple business to understand uh, in order to do this because you're not going to have a traditional road show. Um, and it needs to be, and I think one thing that uh, could really help Spotify, you know, Spotify's business model is really, you know, number of subscribers times average price they pay uh, for times their subscription price. And I think you're going to see a huge amount of retail demand uh, from this stock as well that should not be underappreciated. You know, no different than, uh, you know, the Netflixes or uh, companies like Roku that went public. We're, we're super bullish on the IPO. Uh, Mitch, is uh, the threat of big licensing penalties, uh, an, I don't know if it's an existential threat, but is it a threat to at least that retail demand? I don't think so. Um, the, 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 uh, when we first invested a couple years ago, we thought one of the big risks was, you know, could they reach agreements with the music industry, with the three major labels? And, and they have. Uh, and as we talked to numerous uh, music executives all throughout the industry, Spotify is the reason music is growing. Our streaming is the reason that the music is growing, and Spotify is the leader in streaming. Look, Taylor Swift originally went off Spotify, you know, was on it originally, went off for a long time, and recently came back, uh, you know, a few months ago. Maybe that's like the House of Cards moment that Netflix had. Uh, you know, we think the artists are really, the vast majority of the artists really appreciate it. We also think there's a huge opportunity for emerging artists by using Spotify uh, and being able to go direct to their fans. And, and we're, we've heard from many people in the music industry all the artist insights and all the analytics that Spotify is able to provide to artists is absolutely incredible. Somebody can drop a new album and they can literally, you know, within minutes or days, provide artists with, hey, the, you know, where are people listening to the, you know, people are listening to it in Mexico City the most, Buenos Aires, mm. you know, Amsterdam, and you can literally schedule tours around that and, produ and, and promotion well, events and things like that. That's something that's never been able to be done. I want your take, Balaji, because originality doesn't always guarantee success. We've seen what Facebook has been able to pull on Snap. We've seen the struggles of Pandora. What do you think it's going to take for Spotify and for other uh, startup companies with original ideas to succeed in this era of huge competitors like Apple, Google, Amazon, and so forth? I, I yeah, completely so, agree. Well, uh, that one's for Balaji. So Spotify is. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, so Spotify is certainly ahead of Apple Music. They've got about 140 million actives versus Apple Music having about 60 million. Um, one interesting, you know, sort of angle here is that, um, you know, because of the recent tax bill, uh, a lot of capital is going to come back from overseas. Uh, so there may be, you know, at least for some of these companies, not necessarily Spotify, but other innovators, uh, I think this year you're going to see probably a record number of acquisitions um, because, you know, like it's possible to repatriate a lot of funds that are, that are there from overseas. So it may not just simply be, oh, the innovator wins or the big company wins. It might be that the big company just buys the innovator with this huge amount of new cash that's going to flow in. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.